Hello everybody and welcome to Storm Raids and today I'm going to be talking about my series and how I done for the second quarter. So I feel terribly behind with this video because usually it's like one of the first like videos that I get out once a quarter is ended. And yeah, it's the 19th that I'm filming this. I don't know when it'll get up after I film it. <laughs> so I just feel very behind. But anyway, I like to kind of keep track of how I'm doing with my series. I, uh, I write them down in a document for each quarter. And I mark whether they are finished, caught up, or continued on. Or if they are first in a series. My goal is to always either finish, uh, catch up, or continue on the series more than I start. Because I start a lot of series, and I realize that I will be reading these series until the end of time because I am in the middle of a lot of series, and I keep starting a lot of series. So the catch up. Is, is, is not happening very quickly and I would like it to happen a little bit more frequently so if I can finish or catch up on a series I feel very accomplished though if I continue working on one I do I do feel accomplished that way too I really feel accomplished if I start a series and I read another book in that series in the same quarter <laughs> so that happens sometimes but not often but it has happened a couple of times. I am happy to say that I did finish catch up or continue working on more than I started in the second quarter. So I did better in the second quarter than I did in the first quarter. Because I'm pretty sure I failed the first quarter if I remember right. I, I started way too many series in the first quarter. <laughs> so I tried to rectify that in the second quarter. So I worked on a total of 32 series, which was a total of 43 books, and only 10 of those series were first in series, so I did really good. I have two finished series, 9 that I caught up on, 11 that I continued on, and then of course the, like I just said, the 10 that I started. So. I did better in the second quarter than I did in the first quarter. So I'm just going to go down the line real quickly and just let you know the books that I, I finished that were in series and things like that and everything. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on them because then I would this video would be way too long. It's just kind of a documentation to see how I'm doing because I do try to do the series about series challenge where I do work on my series and I am a series reader and so I know I will always be starting series it's just how I am so if I can kind of keep the momentum going to where I am at least trying to catch up and continue on um, you know it on the series it really depends on how many is in the series whether um, catching up with them is pretty feasible or not the, the two that I caught up on they were very easy so the two that I finished, I finished the Dead City series by James Ponty. It's actually a trilogy. And so I read Blue Moon and Dark Days. So number two and number three to finish it out. And I really liked that series. It was a lot of fun. If you like middle grade zombie books, it's a good series. And speaking of zombie books, Zombie Problems by K.G. Campbell. I finished the trilogy by reading the third book, August of the Zombies. And it was a fun zombie series. Not spooky. Dead City, slightly spooky. Zombie Problems, not spooky. <laughs> okay, so the books that series that I caught up on. So I am caught up on House of Shivers by R.L. Stein. He only has two books out in that series, and so I read Goblin Monday, which was number two, so that catches me up in that series, at least as far as I know. These are caught up as far as I know. I haven't looked to see if there has been any more published 
since I read these. Especially with R.L. Stein, I should probably check, but I haven't, so just let me feel like I'm caught up, okay? Because <laughs> I haven't checked it. The County Carry series by Carlene O'Connor. I read Some of Us Are Looking, which is number two in that series. I do know there's a third one coming out, but it's not out yet, so it still counts. The Amish Matchmaker series by Amanda Flowers. I read Honeymoons Can Be Hazardous which was number four, and Dating Can Be Deadly, which was number five, which I'm pretty sure catches me up. Deadwood by Jennifer Killick. I read uh, Fright Bite, which is number five. So that's got me caught up. Monster Club by Darren Aronofsky and Ari Handel. Hopefully I pronounced those right. I read Monsters Take Manhattan, which is number two. Zombie Season by Justin Weinberger. I read Dead in the Water, which is number two. See, a lot of, a lot of these catching ups was easy because I only had to read one. Area 51 Filed by Julie Buxman. I read Friend or UFO, which was number three. And if you're looking for a fun middle grade series, that is a really fun series. I like that one. Lighthouse Library by Eva Gates. I read Stranger in the Library, which is number 11. So that catches me up. And Paws and Claws by Krista Davis, The Dog Across the Lake, which is number 9. So I'm really liking that some of these series, I am keeping caught up on them so that I don't have to read two or three books in the series to catch up. Some of these series are favorite series, so therefore I, you know, just keep going whenever I can find them and keep knocking them out so I don't get behind because I've gotten behind on some of my favorites and I really need to catch up on them I really like staying caught up on a series if I can so next are the ones that I continued working on and so I continued my uh, read of Encyclopedia Brown by Donald Sobel I read Encyclopedia Brown Solves Them All, which is number five, and Encyclopedia Brown Keeps the Peace, which is number six. And so, continuing on with that, it's kind of ones that I read around um, old school April or stuff like that for that, because it's my nostalgic reads. Same with uh, Vanicula by James Howell. Uh, the first one is by James Howe and Deborah Howe, and then I also read uh, Holiday Inn, which is number two, and Celery Stocks at Midnight, which is number three, and those two were just written by James Howe. Basil, or Basil, I think it's Basil of Baker Street by Eve Titus. I read Basil of Baker Street, which was number one, but I also read Basil and the Lost Colony, which was number two. So see, there's one of those where I read the first one, but I continued on, so I like that. My Big Fat Zombie Goldfish by Mo O'Hare. I read The Sequel, which is number two, and Fins of Fury, which was number three. It's a cute series. Wild Series by Rodman Philbrick. I read Wildfire, which is number one, and Wild River, which is number two. I do think that there is another one either out or coming out. The last I knew it was coming out, but it's, I haven't checked in a while, so I don't know. Then I have Middle School Bites by Steve Banks, and I read Middle School Bites When You're a Bam Wolf Zom was number one and then I read Tom Bites Back which is number two. Then I have um, The Hardy Boys by Frank W. Dixon. I read The Tower of Treasure which is number one and then I also read The House on the Cliff which was number two. Then I have a Perry Mason series by Earl Stanley Gardner and I read the first book which is Case of the Velvet Claw, and the second book, which is The Case of the Sulky Girl. 
Then the Blackbird Trilogy by Heather Graham. I read Secrets in the Dark, which is number two. The Miss Hermione series by Anastasia Hastings. Okay. So, I have one that's not where it's supposed to be. But I'm just going to continue going on. I'm not going to refilm. But, Miss Hermione by Anastasia Hastings. I read Of Hoaxes and Homicide, which is number two. Should be in my caught up on. Not in my continued working on. Because there's only two out <laughs> so far. So, it needs to be up there where, where it should be. But it's not. Oh, well. Moving on. Hope Street Church by Ellery Adams. I read Method of Malice, which is number seven. So now we'll get to the books that I read, just the first book in the series, and that's it. So we have Rats by James Herbert. And, of course, I read The Rats. We have The Boxcar Children by Gertrude Chandler Warner, and I read The Boxcar Children. Trixie Belden by Julie Campbell, read The Secret of the Mansion. Hope's Crossing by Ran Thane, read Blackberry Summer. Spellbinder by Andrew Alcyon, I'm probably butchering that. I read the not-so-chosen one. Origami Yoda by Tom Engelberg. I read The Case of the Origami Yoda. The Rare Books Mysteries by Daphne Silvers. I read Crime and Parchment. Hopalong Cassidy series by Clarence E. Mulford. I read Bar 20. Georgia Peach Mystery series by Susan Furlong. I read Peaches and Scream. And the Outer Bank Bookshop series by Alicia Bissett. I read Smile Beach Murder. And that's my series for quarter two. So I think I did pretty good. I, I, overall, I'm really happy with where I am. I, I am really getting a lot more conscious, I think, about um, the, all the series that I'm starting and everything, and I at least feel like it, it, it feels to me, like when I can see that I've finished, caught up, and continued on, that it's okay to read that book one, because I am working on other series, where before, I just read a whole bunch of book ones, and then I would forget about them. Now I'm trying to keep more track of the book ones, to at least try to incorporate a book two within the year, or if not, within the next year, which is something that I need to still work on a lot, I need to go back and look at all the first books in the series that I've only read the one book from. And I need to, in the second half of the year, work on at least one of those. Like, not just one of the series, but I mean, re work on another book in that series. That's what I'm saying. But anyway, so how do you think I did? Um, let me know. Have you read any of these? Um, did... In the second quarter, did I get you to pick up any of these books whenever I talked about them before? <laughs> and uh, let me know how you're doing on your series. Do you think you're doing pretty good, or are you uh, are, are your series running rampant and you're they're getting out of control? I'd like to know down in the comments. If you don't want to comment, that's fine. Just leave me a smiley face or something so that I know you were here. And I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.